Hey guys, and welcome to my first uh, deck guide for Gwent, the Witch card game. Um, decided to make a K, well, John Calvate deck, sorry, um, yesterday for the new patch, and it's been doing really well for me. It's you know it's been for a few iterations to get it to the way I want it, but um, s since I've created this, I've been winning most of my matches. I only lost by misplays on my own part, you know, so. The deck's been performing really well for me, and I'm rank four. Um, was in pro uh, ladder last season and the season before, so I'd like to think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this deck's uh, quite an interesting deck. Um, it's based around the combo of Yennefer plus Kahir, which you can get on 30 plus or more. But this deck doesn't just have that finish. That's a good finisher combo, but it's not the only thing this deck can do. Um, but I can go through it with you. Uh, well, we've got the Germain, which obviously is good for getting those cows out. One point cards, combos with Yennefer. Combos really well with uh, the Slave uh, Infantries, because obviously you can change the cows into Slave Infantries, which then obviously gets onto the other combo with Reemdy. You know, obviously you get four of these out, buff them all up. Happy days. Uh, Yennefer... As I've told you, she's got multiple uses. She isn't just a comp like this deck isn't isn't a one trick pony. There's it has so many things it can do. Um, one of my friends has tried this deck and he wasn't having much success with it because it's quite a difficult deck to play, I suppose, unless unless you've been shown how to play it. Uh, Yennefer can be used to uh, you know defensively, offensively, uh, in situations where you could have say this Yennefer in your hand and Leo in hand, and if you've got a dead Leo, use her first, buff everything up by two most likely have a target for Leo then after that makes him not brick which is obviously really good you've probably got more units on your side unless you're against a swarm deck then you're a bit uh, gutted but uh, Roach is uh, there for a bit of thinning he just comes out the deck he's a good he's a good Roach he's a good boy um, but obviously that combos with a Seer uh, put him back into the deck to come back out again for 9 points really good but um, I'll come back to her soon uh, Leo, obviously don't need much explaining, kills um, tall units, uh, destroys a Witcher if they do play any Witchers, which is good. Um, obviously you can combo with an Elf Guardian Knight as well, if uh, say you're bricking. Um, and also Yennefer, like I said before. Kahir. Kahir is uh, the most interesting card in the deck because it stops any strategies for uh, any buffs or decks. And... This card can single-handedly win against something like um, a huge bird or a um, what else could it go against? Uh, any sin that buffs really a glaze, uh, Arrakis Queen, which I really think is going to be really popular in this coming meta. So you'd go second to last play. You'd go, or depending if you win the round or not, you know if you've got last play. Um, then you play this to second to last if you know they got Glusty in hand. And obviously, you're going to gain all that boost from Kahir that Glusty would get. So they're not getting any points. We're gaining all the points. And this is the combo I was on about with Yennefer. You get all your units on the board. You you used, uh, say this is your last, The uh, let's just say Kahir is in your last, is the last card in your hand. And you've got Calvate still. Um, you would put Yennefer at the top of your deck with Albrich in round three. You don't always get this combo, but with a bit of an RNG, you can get it. You know, even if you didn't get the, you know, Albrich in round three, you can just get it from John Calvate with a bit of RNG if you luck good enough. It's happened to me. I've done it before. But yeah, um, what you do is you put Kahir down. Then you would use your leader to get out uh, the Yennefer. Then you'd boost all your side and your opponent's side. And when you boost all your opponent's side, Kahir gets all that buff. All of it. All of it. Every last drop. It's really nice. Um, and obviously, like I said, it counters other decks' plans of boosting in the end as well, which is good. Uh, moving on from that, though, uh, we've got Gimpy, Gerwin. And not a lot of people are running him now, but I feel like he's still good, but... He can be, he's not worth his provisions really, but with everyone feeling safe running like, you know, multiple spawn cards themselves, it's just, he's really good with 
everyone think he's a surprise for people. They're like, oh god, you shouldn't play him. But, well, Gimpy's won me a few games, especially against Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard lots of spam at the moment, so auto win against Nilfgaard and Arrakis Queen. Asiya is a very versatile card. Obviously, like I said before about the combo with Roach. Um, but also, you can use one of your combo cards in round one or two, depending if you really need to win or whatever the situation is. You can use them. Just say you've got the other one in your hand and you use that in the first round. Use Asiya to put that back in your deck. Use Albrick to put that card to the top of your deck. John Calvate, then you've got the combo again, even though you used it in the first round. So, very versatile card. Reem D, obviously, like Spain Force, Slave Infantries, combos with that. Also, uh, with Imperial Brigade. Uh, <coughs> slave Infantry, really good, like I said before. Peter. Peter's, yeah, He's okay. Um, he can get really good value. You know, boost up one of your units if they've been hit down, or hit down a unit that's really hard on their side that's been boosting a lot, but uh, he's just there for filler, really. Didn't know what else to put in. Uh, Imperial Brigade, Finn in. Uh, Dopplers, obviously we've got all humans except for uh, one, Roach, so also include I reckon. Knight, like I said before, good first turn play if they've got nothing on their side, or like I said, hell with Leo. Uh, Albert Pikeman, they're good for controlling the front row, and a lot of their units are like stuck on the front. You know, they have melee, t they have to be on the melee to get effect, so you, you sometimes get good value, but most time they do just get answered. But I'd rather them get rid of this than other stuff. You know that want to stay on the board they like the slave infantries so yeah that's what they're for really really for targeting um Albert, armored cavalry a lock bit of control which obviously then uh combines with slave driver for obviously that synergy with the lock to increase the damage whenever there's a lock uh opponent on the side and also tucson knight that's just there because it's another target well these two are targets also for uh slave infantry but uh, yeah, I think I've talked enough about the deck. Uh, best thing to do really is show you a feature game. Just play one game for you and show how it works. Right, let's get going. Oh, hands up. This could be a difficult match. They have a lot of uh, engines and, uh, and if this is Swim's deck as well, oof. God, I, I don't know if I'm against. Could be against swimming, never know. We'll get rid of this. We don't want to see double in our hand. So we've got the Doppler for some tempo. But we've got most of our combo, to be fair, so we need this. I don't know about this at the moment. Maybe because you'll be hitting stuff down, I suppose. Oof. No, I don't like this. This hand isn't good against this deck. Not a f not a feel feels good man at all. Good lock it. I think there's more valuable things to lock though, to be honest. I suppose we could just go with the casual. Doppler. As you do. Hmm. So that... Oh, he's got the other one in his hand. So he's going to have to copy this to get the effect. Wow. Great bait. Ah, uh, he got it. Uh, I think I know what type of deck it is. And he wants to keep both of them in his hand so he can use this as his last play. Interesting. He didn't use it. He's trying to use it as bait, but I'm not falling for this. I'm not falling for his games. You played some funny games, my friend, but I'm not I'm not playing with you. I know what you're doing. <clears throat> Maybe you should have put this next to this, but we're not against Nilfgaard. Come on. Play your card. Play another one of these blue stripes to gates. Here we go. Oh, I think it is. This is uh a meme deck, for sure. He wants to meme me. I'm not going to pass, because I know what to do against this deck. You are not allowed, sir. No. It's 
fine. Do that all day long if you want. I like your moves. Tempted just to uh, Green D these two now, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's a good play. Ah, oh, Roach. You bad, bad boy, Roach. So I can just Gimpy these. So this is where Gimpy comes uh, in handy against these type of things that spawn themselves. Very handy, but uh, I know what this deck is going to do. <sighs> he just wants to buff it to high heaven. He's like, oh, no one plays Gimpy. Well, this is where you're wrong, my friend. Bam. Gimpy, ahoy. There we go. But I'm not full. I'm not passing this next round. I am playing on. I am pushing all the way. So we've got the Kahir. So we don't want the Kahir in our hands because we're going to do the com. Oh, we want the Albrecht. Uh, I don't know whether I put him back in or not. Will I find him? That's the question, isn't it? You know what? No, I'm going to leave him in my hand because if he is going to meme, then I can meme right back. So, it's because we're pushing, I think we start with a Nilfgaardian Knight. Okay. Yeah, going with our cows. The uh, last right. Oh, oh. You know what? That's fine. I'm not even bothered about that. I think I can generate enough points to. Win me this. He can have his. Uh... He wants me to pass. That's all he wants me to do. That's why he's doing this. I don't care. I'm not passing. If I pass, I lose. That's what I've heard. There it is. Now he's going to bring out, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, no, that's five, so he has to wait one more turn. But that's going to die soon if he doesn't do something soon. Two more turns. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Ting, ting, ting. Damn, I think I've filled that row. I have. I could have locked that. But, man. but I can get rid of it. I win. <laughs> well. That was what you do against that deck. <laughs> well. That yeah, was a good game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you again soon.